In this video, we're going to see what refers to the permits of the users, what actions can the users do, how we can add users to the application, what different types of users can there be in an application, and generate a portal of clients of our company that don't have to have an account of Soho can enter our application and have a user's name and password so they can access the different elements that we would determine. For that, the first thing to do is to go to the application of Soho Creator and we're going to go into one of the applications in this case of the students that we've been working through this degree where we have different components like the teachers, like the students, the grades, and I'm going to enter this application and we're going to enter in settings and then remember even though we saw it in the other lessons that we have different types of users according to the access we have the administrator user that creates the application or that possesses the application in its portal that it's, is his own that has access to the configuration and he can configure, can add element, create previews, views, and we have the developer. The developer, as you remember, can do the same than the administrator, can go into create elements, reports, and to add somebody as a developer, you go to the application, you use the option of change developer, or you and then you add the email here from and it's a user that has the access like an administrator. And then remember also that a developer this has to have a Soho account, or if not, then he, if not, he gets an invitation to create a Soho account and it's going to count as a user in the limit of user in our plan that, that we have specified. So how do we see this? If I'm going to go to home and from here, I'm going to go to configuration setup. And we see here that the management of users, we have the user, that's the administrator, and we have what kind of plan we have, the current plan. We have enterprise blank with two users contracted and active users one, so I have available one left. And then I remind you that if we add somebody as a developer, it's going to count as a user in the application. So we can only share these applications with users, with so many users of Soho as we have available in our system. So we can count and our account of how many we have available as developer. And so we see here the administrator, the developer, and we have a third user that would be the user Soho, a user of our company, a user that we want them to have available the application and that has a password. And we're going to recognize and it's going to be marked always that this user did the actions inside the system, we're going to be able to access that information and when we have the previews, we're going to be able to filter what kind of information we want to show this user that the user that is highlighted to uh, share an application of this type. We go to the share section and from there we can select the different elements of our application that we wish to add to the email of the